Terminals are busy, fast-paced, always in motion. You must be alert and aware of your surroundings at all times. Scan the environment for hazards. Take steps to protect yourself and others. Container cranes are large, powerful, and fast. Use extreme care when you work with and around them. The incident you are about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. Three lashers from the lashing gang were disembarking the ship for a break. They walked down the gangway and onto the pier, between the bull rail and crane legs, while container loading operations continued in the hatch just aft of the ship's deckhouse. The crane operator had just landed a container onto the ship's hatch cover. The container automatically locked into the deck fittings, which secured the container to the hatch cover. The operator then hoisted the spreader beam, unaware that he had not disengaged the spreader from the container, which was now locked to the hatch cover. As the container was lifted, it also lifted the hatch cover, which had several other containers on the hatch. As the hatch cover was raised, the inshore container straddling the hatch cover and the pedestal platform was twisted outboard, broke its deck securing twist locks, and rolled off the ship. Two of the lashers managed to jump out of the way. However, the container struck the third lasher, killing her instantly. How did this happen? The operator failed to control the load by not making sure the spreader was unlocked from the container before hoisting. He did not pay attention to or failed to check the spreader indicator light in his cab to ensure the twist locks were disengaged and the spreader was clear. The operator failed to recognize in time that he was lifting the container and the hatch cover. He should have stopped the lift, which would have prevented the inshore container from falling onto the dock. What about the lashers? They should not have been complacent when working and walking around cranes. The lashers should have recognized they were still at risk from a falling container, even though the load had been transported over the bull rail and onto the vessel. The danger is always present until the container is landed and the spreader is empty and clear of the vessel. The lashers should have scanned and focused on their workplace surroundings. They should not have proceeded until they could see the crane spreader and were clear of it. When walking and working on the terminal, workers should always be alert. There are two main ways a container might be knocked off a ship and cause a hazard. First, a crane trolleying with a container could knock another container or an entire stack of containers over onto the dock or into the water. Second, a container secured to the hatch cover might be lifted inadvertently, causing the hatch cover to be raised. Then a container or container stack secured half on the hatch cover edge and half on a lashing pedestal could be rotated and knocked off, dumping one or more of the containers from the ship. As a crane operator, to prevent or avoid such fatal incidents during loading, you should Never carry loads over people. Twist locks can fall out of the container's lower corner fittings. Ice can fall from the container. Or container components damaged at sea can break loose and fall. To land the container, lower it into position slowly. Once the container is landed, make sure the twist locks are unlocked. Check the spreader indicator light in your cab to ensure the twist locks on the spreader are unlocked. Then lift the spreader from the container carefully to make sure nothing is hung up. Trolley and hoist the spreader in an arced path. Make sure it's high enough to clear any obstacles or chimney stows on the way to the dock. Recognize that cranes are fast and powerful and can lift heavy containers effortlessly. Perform crane lifts carefully and proceed smoothly and precisely. When walking or working on the terminal, to prevent or avoid fatal incidents like this one, you should avoid becoming complacent when working and walking around cranes. Stay alert.
Be aware of what's going on around you. Scan and focus to recognize and avoid potential hazards. Be alert, even when walking in designated walkways. Stay clear of the area beneath a suspended load, including the area between the terminal bull rail and the crane legs. Be mindful of your safety on both the inshore and offshore sides of the vessel, especially at hatches being worked. You are at risk of being crushed by a falling container if the crane spreader is over the vessel and you are under or adjacent to the crane legs and the vessel. This crane operator and lasher are no different than you. Anytime you walk and work at a marine terminal, you have to stay alert. Avoid becoming complacent. Always follow safety precautions. Scan and focus for hazards. Don't let a tragedy like this one happen to you.